Chapter 1 is an introduction to biology and scientific thinking. Biology is the study of life, so before we begin, we need to determine what is living and what is not. All living things have a set of characteristics of life. All living things are organized. At a microscopic level, the smallest living things are organized into cells. Larger organisms have many cells which are organized into tissues and organs, such as this flower. All living things reproduce and develop. Reproduction means being able to produce offspring that will also be able to reproduce themselves. Development refers to the changes our bodies go through as we grow up. All living things can respond to the environment. This Venus flytrap is open until it feels something move. When the fly lands on the leaf, it triggers the plant. The flytrap responds by closing, trapping the fly. All living things require materials and energy. We acquire the energy and nutrients to run our bodies from the foods that we eat, just like the caterpillar munching on leaves. All living things maintain an internal environment. The lizard sits on a rock to warm up its body. You control your temperature with your brain. This ability to keep the internal environment the same is called homeostasis. All living things have the ability to adapt to the environment. Over time, individuals that are more suited to their environment have more babies than others who are less well suited. The seahorses that can camouflage will likely live longer and reproduce more. Eventually, we see seahorses that look exactly like the coral that they live on. When we eat, we get both nutrients and energy, but these two substances move through biological systems differently. Energy flows through systems, which means that it has an entrance and an exit. All energy on Earth originates from the sun. The light energy is captured by producers, like plants, and stored as chemical energy, for example, carbohydrates in the fruits and leaves. Animals eat the plants, and chemical reactions convert the energy from plant materials into other forms of chemical energy, like ATP, that powers the cells. All of the chemical reactions inside of organisms make up their metabolism. Every time a chemical reaction occurs, some energy is lost as heat. Once converted to heat, energy is no longer usable, and it exits the system. Need Nutrients do not enter and exit. They are always present and recycled through a system. For example, water is a nutrient. Water is recycled by moving through the water cycle, but it is always present on Earth. The process of changing to become better suited to the environment is called evolution. The word evolution just means change. Natural selection is the process that causes evolution. For example, we have a population of beetles living on a dark environment. This group of individuals has variation in a trait that can be passed on, color. Dark beetles tend to have dark babies, and light beetles tend to have light babies. Birds are predators that hunt using vision. The light beetles stand out against the environment and are more likely to get eaten. This is natural selection. Over time, the dark beetles have more babies. Several generations later, the beetle population looks much darker. This is an adaptation, having dark coloring to camouflage in a dark environment. Life can be studied at many different levels, which are organized into a hierarchy. The smallest matter is a single atom. Atoms form chemical bonds to create molecules. Molecules can be small, like water and carbon dioxide, or large, like protein and carbohydrates. Many different molecules are used to form organelles inside of our cell. Each organelle performs an essential function, together keeping the cell alive. A group of cells work together to form a tissue, and a group of tissues work together to form an organ or an organ system. Your nervous system is made up of a brain and spinal cord. Each of these organs is made up of nervous tissues, which is made of nerve cells. All of the organs of your body work together to make an organism, you. A group of like organisms that live in the same place is called a population. Members of a population can mate with each other. 
Groups of different populations make up a community. A community is all of the living populations in an area. This community has mangroves, seabirds, fish, and other life in the water. When you add to this the non-living things as well, it is called an ecosystem. This mangrove ecosystem includes the living community, but also the non-living nutrients such as water, air, and sand. All of the different ecosystems on the planet combined make up the biosphere of the Earth.